What's going on everybody, Dialerix TV back with another video and I would like to discuss with you all a video pertaining to Lakers potentially acquiring Suns guard Devin Booker. This article is via Clutch Points and Inquisitor and the headline reads, NBA rumors, Devin Booker could form Lakers, could form LA Lakers new wave big three with LeBron James and Anthony Davis next season. And the article goes on to say that the Los Angeles Lakers may be one of the heavy favorites to bring home the Larry O'Brien trophy this year but that doesn't necessarily mean that they will no longer shoot for major upgrades in the 2020 offseason like other teams in the league they also have some issues on their roster including the need for another shot creator and playmaker one of the dream trade targets for the Lakers this fall is all-star shooting guard Devin Booker of the Phoenix Suns. According to Clutch Points, the Los Angeles Lakers could form a new wave big three of Booker, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis in a 2020-21 NBA season by sending a trade package centered on their third best player, on their third best player, Kyle Kuzma, to the Suns. So he says. The Lakers don't have much assets at their disposal, so any deal would need to be centered on their third best player in Kyle Kuzma. The 25-year-old has been overshadowed by the arrival of Anthony Davis in the summer, but he has shown that he could be that he could be a star in his own right. A move to Phoenix might just be what Kuzma needs at this point in his career. LA should let the Suns take their pick on any player on their roster not named LeBron James or Anthony Davis. Their draft picks, both present and future, will likewise need to be on the table. So if you guys would like to read the full article, the link is in the description box. Now, I've done countless videos over the last few years or the last year or two explaining to you guys just how great of a player Devin Booker is. Like, it's really pretty much self-explanatory if you watch these games and watch how great of a player he is. I think out of all the young talent in the NBA, he is truly one of the ones who are the most special ones in the league and who I think is ready now. Like, it, it's not going to take time for him to develop or you know it hasn't taken time for him to develop he's came into the league one of those snipers you know I think that Devin Booker will you know he of course will get better but this man is absolutely phenomenal now and he's in high demand it's rumored that the Nets could trade for him the Timberwolves could trade for him and it was also reported that you know last year that the Clippers will even still be seeking a third star next year so every team is seeking a competitive advantage because I don't think NBA fans understand with all the talent you know the way time evolves the way things evolve the way players evolve and how things get better with time you know the way people train is different their eating and their regimen is much different in today's time it's so difficult they don't understand how difficult it is to win an NBA championship nowadays and the Lakers need a third premier player in my opinion it didn't take for me to see the buzzer beater that Devin Booker hit over the Clippers to recognize how special he was you know I already knew even before the 70 point game I've been saying that Devin Booker was a great player for a while now you know I, I typically hop on the train very early before players you know receive the praise from the media by them doing something great you know y'all know I've always been a fan of shooters he has one of the most purest forms and jump shots you know Ray Allen one of my favorite shooters Reggie Miller uh, Jerry West Pete Maravich like the list goes on and on Clay Thompson I could go all day Steph Curry Kobe Bryant you know I think that Devin Booker is the closest player to Klay Thompson you'll ever find and the Lakers failed to get Klay Thompson despite his father ties to the franchise and his LA upbringing with the Lakers in desperate need of a third star. But just imagine, you know, especially with the Lakers in desperate need of a third star, but just imagine if the Lakers were able to plug in Klay Thompson next to Anthony Davis and LeBron James. But I definitely think that the Lakers should pursue Devin Booker or of course Bradley Bill. You know, Bradley Bill should be at the top, top, top of the list. But the Lakers need a consistent threat on, you know, who opposing teams would, abs would absolutely fear night in and night out. And I guess, you know, I guess since Cal Kuzma has been playing well in the bubble, the fans believe that he could be that third star, which, you know, he has been playing well. I won't deny that he's been playing great in the bubble. His defense looked well, and he hit a buzzer beater over the Nuggets third, you know, over the Nuggets bench. So I wasn't even impressed by that with that victory. I wasn't really impressed by that victory over the Nuggets. But the play that Frank Vogel drew up and orchestrated was like one of the best plays I've ever seen. But I, you know, but I just look at Cal Kuzma, and there's really no comparison to Devin Booker. If you believe that you could compare Cal Kuzma to Devin Booker, then you're foolish. You know, he's one of the most. Devin Booker is one of the most lethal scores, consistent scores in the game, and 
As Dwayne Wade explained on Inside the NBA, Cal Kuzma is a rhythm scorer, which it isn't a bad thing. You know, it just means that if Cal Kuzma isn't in rhythm or AD or LeBron James are, you know, are getting the bulk of the shots early, there's, you know, it's going to be isolation basketball, less motion within the office. Even Le- being as though LeBron is getting older, if it's nice where Cal Kuzma is not showing up and LeBron's not showing up, then it's going to put all the load on Anthony Davis. And, you know, Anthony Davis gets injured a lot. You know, Cal Kuzma is a great cutter to the basket, but it's times when defenders will block those cuts. You know, and the lanes are clogged up and things like that. They're playing the passing lanes, you know, and things like that. If he can't hit his shots and his shot isn't going, he's missing, then typically he's going to have a bad game. But Devin Booker, on the other hand, this man is going to flame and torch courts every single night when he step on that floor. And opposing teams are biting their nails. They're biting their fingernails every time he shoots. Every time he shoots. You know, it's like Klay Thompson when the Warriors had KD. They had so many threats out there on the floor that Klay Thompson is just such a sniper. It's like pick your poison. But I think the Lakers have to find a way to get Devin Booker or Bradley Bill. I think once Golden State comes back and all these teams are fully healthy, the Lakers will need an elite third option who can fill it up like Devin Booker. He moves great without the ball, could catch and shoot. And if the Lakers are able to keep Anthony Davis this offseason, which it just depends on how this season, you know, it just depends on how the playoffs turn out. If the Lakers get swept or let's say the Lakers lose in the first round, I think Anthony Davis is gone, you know, but I think it's going to be hard for him to leave. And let's say the Lakers lose in the Western Conference Finals. Like, you know, if the Lakers lose in the first round, then Anthony Davis is probably gone. But I think the Lakers would be the favorites if they're able to acquire it. Devin Booker, if they're able to acquire Devin Booker, Draymond Green got fined for his comments, but he got fined for his comments, which I don't understand why. But to me, you know, I don't care what anybody has to say. I think Dave, I think Devin Booker needs to get out of Phoenix myself, and he has that celebrity aura about him. In my personal opinion, I think he has more desires to play with his friend, his friends D'Lo, you know, and Carl Anthony Towns. But I think the man needs to get out of Phoenix ASAP. You know, it takes a lot to be an NBA championship caliber team. And the Lakers have always been a winning culture. You know, not so much as of recent. You know, but we've won multiple championships and Phoenix hasn't. You know, Charles Barkley and Steve Nash are probably the closest to ever winning. But the Suns can never get over the hump. But, you know, the L.A. atmosphere would just be perfect for Devin Booker. And we would just appreciate a guy like him. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all get in that comment box. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out.